eye on the countryside will continue to traverse hinterlands and villages of the nation's capital. And today is not different because we are in Pagada village in Dobi ward of the Gwagulade area council in the FCT. And we'll be sharing with you the interesting story and peculiarities of this community. Villages and hinterlands are the roots of everyone. And Pagada village is an ancient country home to many Bagi people who traced their history to the narration that says they migrated in search of greener pasture to settle there. By oral transmission of their history, we learned that Pagada's story is tied around the surrounding hills where their forefathers in about hundreds of years ago uh, were said to have descended the surrounding hills to this fertile and arable land for farming as an agrarian people. Today the people have continued with that aspect of the trade of farming but are still yearning for social amenities. This village looks like it has been forgotten and abandoned. I could see that any project that comes in as a time of help comes from an individuals or organizations. When they talk in time of bringing light, politics came and divided the village. It becomes a problem that the village are not one anymore. They were divided by politicians. In times of amenity coming to meet this village, it become a problem. They cannot reach. They may come and stop somewhere else. As a visitor and stranger who is meeting the people of Pagada for the first time, the crew was received with open arm. Then we learned about the village. Apart from this social concern of Pagada village, also lies the story of the Pagada Mosque. This beautiful mosque is standing tall among the structures in Pagada village. And the story around this mosque is one that demonstrates and also breaks the conscience of Nigerians, talking about peaceful coexistence and religious tolerance. In the summary of the long narration told by the chief of Pagada, al Haji Umar Salu, the mosque became a child of necessity to appease the community who had disagreement with some missionaries over a school some years past. Many years after, some missionaries led a request for the building of the mosque to some well-meaning individuals. This, he said, came to be the pride of the community. My committee have very well this project. Now, the mosque you good way. We didn't have the money to build the mosque, and he gladly gave the resources. The community support from their benefactor now includes the building of an Islamiyah for the moral teaching of the children, a clinic, and a palace for the chief of the village. The acceptance of Christianity and Islam in Pagada has dominated traditional beliefs of their forefathers. Abdullah Hajia, NTN News.